Big news out of Intel this morning, the company making waves in the semiconductor space with a first of its kind funding agreement, partnering with Brookfield Asset Management to finance up to $30 billion in factory expansions. Here to discuss Intel's new chief financial officer, David Zinsner. Uh, David, welcome. So um, first, help us understand what is different about this and how it changes the model for Intel. Um, Brookfield is going to put in 49% uh, of the capital that it takes to build this out and then get 49% of revenue. Uh, do they have any downside protections in case, you know, the capacity isn't fully used? How, how is this going to work? Okay, good question, and thank you, thank you for having me, John. So, uh, so we have this notion of smart capital, which is to accelerate our capital investments mainly to improve our process technology roadmap and and uh, and the capacity associated with that, but also to create a more diversified and resilient supply chain globally for the semiconductor industry. Uh, and so we looked at various options for um, for help helping to fund this. And smart, the smart capital is the aggregate view of how we're approaching this, one of which is this co-investment program with Brookfield. Uh, Brookfield, as you said, will put in 49% of the $30 billion we'll invest in Arizona. We'll put into the other 51%. We'll have complete control operationally over the fab. Uh, they're more or less a financial partner in the, in the investment. Um, they do get a return. Um, obviously, um, that return is higher than our debt, but lower than our equity. Uh, and for the risk they're taking is, is an appropriate return uh, from that vantage point. And they, you know, in essence, uh, share in the cash flows of the of, of the factories. That said, I mean, our, our goal, obviously, and you have to in the semiconductor industry, uh, maximize the output of, of the uh, factory. So, um, you know, that's our expectation is how we'll approach that. And, and obviously, they'll they'll uh, you know, they'll get a return on that. David, how does this how does this affect the foundry strategy? and the amount of risk that Intel puts on in pursuing it. Um, you know, 49%, maybe you guys have the final say over what gets done, but it sounds yeah. like they've got a seat at the table. So as far as how that foundry strategy, strategy uh, gets pursued, uh, how you hit benchmarks, and the degree of risk you take on as you do that, how much are, are these partners, uh, and, and this being the first, going to have to say about that? Yeah, so we have complete control over how the fab um, rolls out. You know, there's obviously some some requirements in terms of how much cash flow has to be generated from that factory, and we'll obviously maximize the cash flow of that factory uh, so that um, so that it gets the appropriate level of return. Um, they don't have a ton of say over you know how much we do there, uh, but they do have an expectation around the returns they're going to get from that, and uh, and so we've you know we've built into the agreement. Uh, the ability to um, to manage that. 